Hi guys, it's your internet big sister here with another banging video. If you're here for the first time, my name is Rick Muntali and I make fake based content for young people. So if a young person is dealing with it, if it affects your life somehow, then I'm talking about it. So yeah, I'm an internet big sister. To my returning subscribers, thanks for always being here. So today our video is going to be a little bit of a rant. Yeah, somebody had to do it for the people. <laughs> um, I saw a post um, by Solomon Bucci, if you follow him on Instagram, and he was saying certain Christians think because they're overzealous, they speak in tongues, they see visions, um, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, that means they're ready for marriage, but sometimes matter of fact They are using spirituality to cover up their lack of emotional intelligence their relationship and social skills etc etc right and that for me was such a uh, Conversation starter and that's what I'm here to do today. Uh, just a little conversation starter uh, on certain things that we use spirituality to cover and so I just think it's important for me to start out with a disclaimer if you know me you know I love Jesus and I don't only love Jesus I love being a believer okay I love it this week I wrote on my status that not only do I love it I like it I like being a believer so I love the whole nine yards that comes with being a believer um, the whole shebang, <laughs> the whole speaking in tongues, seeing visions, being prophetic. I love all that. So this is not me trying to discredit it or anything. However, however, guys, somebody has to say it. So from that post, we're saying that it is not automatic that because you're, you know, very zealous or you're speaking tongues and all that good stuff, you're revivalist automatically translates to you having like emotional maturity emotional intelligence um the ability to resolve conflict properly and that you understand people and social skills that's not what it means right and so today we are saying as young people as believers it is very important for us to be given to personal development right it's great that you fast uh, two times a week. It's great that you're uh, a part of all the prayer movements and everything. It's great that you're growing in the spirit. However, are you neglecting your personal development? I did a little bit of a rant on my uh, WhatsApp status and it came from a conversation I was having with my friends, right? So I was telling them that I had met a person recently. <laughs> Let me just put myself out there. I had met a person recently and the person was like very emotionally intelligent um, the conversation was flowing we just met in a certain space and then in having open conversation I got to realize that we don't share the same faith values right and for me that was just like oh that's quite sad because you know the person seems to be quite interesting but the foundation for me is definitely faith and i knew that if we don't share the same faith values then friendship or whatever can come out from there is just not going to be possible so while i was telling my friends about this before i reached the end i was just giving them gist my friend was like she could almost guess that this person was not a spiritual brother. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? I'm like, before she could get to the end of the conversation, she knew that this person may not be spiritual, like a spiritual person. I'm like, why? And then she goes on to say, because most of them think it's an either or. So the spiritual brothers, I'm not attacking you. The spiritual brothers, it almost feels like that's their brand just being spiritual is their brand so they're not working on other things like they're not working on conversation skills so it means if i'm not talking about revival and the move of god then we're not talking you know what i mean like you have nothing to say you don't watch sports you don't have hobbies <laughs> uh so she was like that's it seems and it's it's not like um general thing guys i'm not gonna be one of those people that says it's general uh but she was just saying majority if you're not having conversations uh that are spiritual then they have nothing to give right like they have no conversation which is very weird to me 
um, they don't develop their character, some of them are not like business savvy or conversation savvy, if you will, like they're not interesting to talk to. And I was like, no, that is not okay. And that goes to the girls as well, that goes to the sisters as well. All she can talk about is just spiritual stuff, but when it comes to um, just conversing, you're meeting people for the first time, that's where you really see conversation etiquette. When you're meeting people for the first time, how good are you at caring conversation? And so it's like, that's worrying. That's very worrying that we think the whole of who we are should just be spirituality. And if you listen to me, you realize that I am of the opinion that your whole life should be spiritual. As a spiritual person, if you're into fitness, that's spiritual. Um, you're into politics if you will like just conversations you can talk you can talk you know what i mean yeah so i was just like now nah, fam i'm gonna talk about it so today's video is just the beginning of a little rant since i haven't been here for a long time this is my way of coming back right um and then we'll go into why we should be given to personal development so as believers I believe we should be given to personal development to read books guys watch personal development videos on YouTube watch how to carry yourself from hygiene to fashion modest fashion but we can see it's giving fashionista to how you speak right to conversation etiquette be well read be well knowledgeable so that if you met a person for the first time in the airport and faith is not the first thing we're talking about you can still carry a conversation right let's not be boring <laughs> let's not be boring guys like really uh, as believers let's have different interests when people are able to talk about sports or current happenings in the world we are there we're talking about entrepreneurship we're there reading books we're there right um you can get different mentors when it comes to different things like you're into business or you're into tech you can get different mentors so today's video was just a reminder for personal development you need to work on yourself as a believer okay you need to be able to shine in different spaces if we take you in the hospital uh, we take you in the marketplace you're able to converse with people who may not even share your faith but you deliver whatever it is you're delivering with so much excellence that it questions who you are like it begs the question who is this person and then they find out when you're a believer you carry fire hello like can we be interesting people in social media social media space creative ways to bring the gospel like creative ways to preach as a young person whatever it is yo yo <laughs> let's not be difficult and the brothers this is the last one you christian brothers eh i know that god has told you that i'm the one for you for example you saw a vision bruh still come and sweep the sisters off their feet please we are begging you come and woo the sisters eh don't just reach with a speech of god said of course god said i'm not gonna do nothing without god saying but that is not your card like now you're covering up the ability to talk and express yourself with god said you just want god to cover you and that's end of conversation god said you're my wife i see our destiny is aligning Mm? no flowers no <clears throat> i think you get the point <laughs> all right guys so i'm back um let me know if you're interested in a in a life update video yeah then we can do the questions but today it was just a little rant and um i'm still doing this is 32 i'm not done and i had like a dating and relationship series for february i'm still gonna do that this was just like a car welcome back as my zambian people would say so we'll see you next time i should be here soon uh just came over here to check on you i hope you guys are doing good and i'll see you in my next video goodbye